Marijuana rules is the big story today. Yeah, that's right. Ohio leaders are in the process of developing the rules to sell recreational marijuana. Sales could begin early this summer, earlier than initially expected. 13 Action News reporter Josh Krupp is live to explain where everything stands right now. Josh. Yeah, and Tina, Tony, after voters legalized recreational marijuana last year, this process was really set into motion to develop the rules for sellers. A new division was created and given nine months to figure out how this thing will all work. On that timeline, the licensing process wouldn't be finished until August. But a state rulemaking committee is set to meet next month to potentially allow recreational sales to begin at facilities that already have medicinal licenses. Those places could then get dual licenses. Other rules will still need to be hashed out here. Marijuana advocates say that other states that took several months or even years to launch sales after legalizing pot saw issues with illegal markets. I think Ohio regulators have learned from some of the examples we've seen in other jurisdictions where this process has been unduly delayed uh, and they are taking steps to move, to expedite this process now, Tina, Tony, there's still gridlock in the state legislature about marijuana legislation. The Senate did pass a series of changes to the law last year, but the House hasn't taken up that proposal with members there arguing it goes against the will of the voters. Lawmakers are still expected to debate aspects of the law, including how tax money is allocated, how to keep kids safe and advertising rules. Tina. All right, thanks so much, Josh. So you mentioned the fact that the people that will be getting those recreational licenses first are those facilities that already sell medicinal marijuana. So let's take a look at where these dispensaries stand. This is a map from the Ohio Department of Commerce, and it tracks all of the medical marijuana dispensaries across the entire state of Ohio. You see some pockets that are more populous have more dispensaries than others. That includes the Cleveland area, the Columbus area, and Cincinnati. Well, let's zoom in to Northwest Ohio, and we can take a look at some of the counties in our area and who has those dispensaries already. There's a dispensary in Defiance. There are three in Lucas County, two in Wood County, one right near the Van Wert Putnam County line, and one in Sandusky County, one or two in Seneca, and a few out in Erie County as well. So these are the areas that will have that first crack at receiving a recreational license. I checked in with a few of them today, one saying they didn't want to discuss anything yet and hesitated to make any comments about any potential movement on a recreational license. Let's break down exactly what the marijuana license looks like. Issue two, broken down each license into four different components. There's a level one and a level two. They're adult use cultivator licenses, meaning you can either grow, distribute to cannabis operators or acquire seeds, clone plants, but you have to pick just one. Whereas in a level three adult use cultivator license, that allows you and licensees to engage in all of those activities. And then there's the adult use processor license. It means you can purchase weed from licensed operators and then process it into marijuana edibles and products to distribute. Finally, there's also the adult use dispensary license, which allows you to open a dispensary. We saw this even with the medical program where we had, you know, literally thousands of people applying for these limited licenses. We might see that again. The Division of Cannabis Control plans to give out 50 level three cultivator licenses and 40 dispensary licenses to start. They will then review this after two years to decide whether they should issue more. With the legalization of marijuana last November, schools in Ohio have been quick to meet the budding workforce demand. And for students wanting to get a certification in cannabis management, the University of Toledo offers an online undergrad and graduate certificate program that will give students a holistic understanding of the marijuana plant, the properties, and the business market. We have a link to more information on that program on 13abc.com. If you're just now joining us and you'd like to see the big story again, you can download our 13 Action News app. It's available as a free download in your phone's app store. Just scan the QR code on your screen right now.